Hello, my name is Alex Thompson, and before I speak to you about stewardship, I'd like to share with you a part of my life. I used to be a performer. I did plays, musicals, recitals, and I love to do this. I, I went to college uh, for performing arts and performed in regional plays. I thought it was going to be the thing that I did for the rest of my life, until it just didn't sit right with me. I was neg neglecting a part of my life that was important. I wanted to help others, but I didn't know how because of the business nature of per the performing world. So I decided to remember my purpose. I came back to Maplewood in the church and volunteered. That was me trying to reconnect. I started with the Prospect Hunger Program, branched out to help others in the Maker Fair in Maplewood, then branched out again and became an EMT. Ironically, um, the CPR class that started that was in Fellowship Hall. Through this experience, I reimagined my life from that of a performer to that of a helper. I went to school for social work, got a degree, and I'm currently helping people in uh, Caldwell University with their mental and emotional well-being. This journey was not easy. And through that process, I had a lot of sleepless nights and I was very confused. But right now, I don't regret that decision, not in the slightest. I remembered I reconnected and I reimagined and it paid off. You see, I, I see the church in a very similar way. Um, I think the church is awesome. I, I, I'm, it means a lot to me. It meant a lot to me growing up. I met friends here. I learned skills. I awakened my faith here. I think a lot of people have stories like that, and the wonderful nature of this congregation in particular. Yet I wonder if it's time for us to go through a period where we remember, reconnect, and reimagine. There was a time in this nation when the church was the center of everything, where you would work, spend time with family, and go to church, and that was basically most of life. Church meant community gatherings, connecting with neighbors, uh, getting aid from others, and coming together in faith. Now it still means that to many of us, but the world around this church has changed. Uh, much has been created to take people's attention away from the faith community. Unfortunately, most churches haven't changed that much in that time. Many see church as something that's conservative and rigid and old fashioned. This is an image of dying. To become a vital church, it is important that we it is important that we remember what makes this church important. It's important that we reconnect with how we, can, we reconnect with something that is important to the community itself so that we become vital to its progress. It's also important that we can reimagine what it's possible for us to do. You may have heard Rick speak about the church becoming a Matthew 25 congregation. I was a part of that strategic planning team that encouraged the session to adopt this. When you think of a strategic plan, you might think of a manual that like stays on a shelf that gets dusty, where you know they have all the things that you have to do, but you know it's not something we it's not something that's energizing. It's not something that we remember to do even after it's finalized. It's an old and tired idea. We need something different, and Matthew 25 is that something different. It is a core set of principles around which our community can find ways to work. This is an initiative launched by PCUSA, encouraging us as a congregation to rem remember, reconnect, and reimagine. They ask us to place our money, time, and energy into one or two or three foci. In, and some of those foci are things like increasing congregational vitality, eliminating structural racism, and eliminating systemic poverty. All important things in the world today. It is a living document with where all the members in this congregation can carry its words. The principles are simple, and in combination with the congregation's gifts and needs, they can be a launching off point for bringing us back to the purpose of this church. 
We, will be, we believe it would help us remember the church's value, reconnect us with the community, and reimagine how we want to congregate with each other. The implementation team will come to you soon to speak with the congregation about this new initiative and encourage your input and ownership of this work. In that time, we will need your participation. And the stewardship's campaign of remembering, reconnecting, and reimagining is integral to this process, as it asks us to offer our pledges, our time, our energy, and help us move toward this new and vital version of Prospect. And to pledge now, you can scan the QR code at the end of this clip or go to prospectchurch.org forward slash pledge. Thank you for listening.